welcome to our weekly HR Technology News Roundup from the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer, and it's July 13th, 2020. Leading our news, low-code development is moving into the business world slowly, but it's moving. That means professionals outside of IT are getting a chance to develop their own solutions to problems specific to their department. This makes sense. Software developers have said for a long time that the keys to a successful app are familiarity with the issues it's trying to solve and the processes it's meant to adapt. Given the intricacies that go along with HR's job, things like compliance, enrollment, onboarding, it would often make sense for practitioners to control the design and development of their tools. A lot of tech brands are starting to offer low-code platforms. Amazon Web Services, for one, just introduced Honeycode. It's a managed service that you can use to attack jobs like product approval, scheduling, and user surveys. The idea of low-code development isn't new, though. Amazon's Honeycode isn't the first. But the approach seems to be gaining traction in ways that should attract the interest of HR departments. For one thing, a number of low-code tools can address some of HR's common pain points. Many seem like good options to use if you want to, say, replace all those spreadsheets you use. Some employers have created their own talent management databases, and others have connected their HR and finance systems. And as more companies adopt low-code, HR's relationship to the IT department is sure to change. But also consider this. It could increase the importance of technical knowledge to HR professionals, and these are the practitioners who already have to master data, mobile technology, and social media. Some other news. Ultimate Software and Kronos want employers to actually use the research that's conducted on diversity, inclusion, and inclusive workplaces. So, they're funding the Equity at Work Council. They've given it the mission of helping employers develop evidence-based strategies. The announcement came even as employers admit that their DNI efforts are lagging. HR.com just published a study and found that a big part of the problem is employers don't have the DNI data they need to uncover issues inside the organization. Also, Pilosity launched new features to help companies streamline the process of recalling workers and reopening facilities. The new tools help employers reconfigure punch-ins, track workplace capacity, and streamline recruiting and onboarding as they bring back furloughed employees or hire new ones. ServiceNow and Deloitte extended their strategic alliance to help customers accelerate HR service delivery. The companies will conduct go-to-market activities together, and Deloitte will work with ServiceNow to expand its product features and functions. Finally, Paychex said revenue during its fiscal fourth quarter decreased by 7% to $915 million, but it was up 7% for the full fiscal year to $4 billion. The year began on a good track, the company said, but it bogged down because of the pandemic and related shutdowns. Since April, though, Paychex has seen an improvement in its key metrics. This has been the HR Technology News Roundup from the HCM Technology Report. To keep up with HR Technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Pfeffer. The world's best-known investor and Wall Street expert Warren Buffett once said, Wall Street is the only place that people ride to in a Rolls Royce to get advice from those who take the subway. Mr. Buffett's quote is remarkably accurate, but how many people would rather receive advice from him than someone simply guessing? Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, your single source for Wall Street knowledge and profitable guidance. Please join me, Todd Schoenberger, and fellow trader Tobin Smith, as well as host Veronica Dudo, for a podcast known to move the needle for investors. Tobin and I are seasoned Wall Street executives with deep investment experience, and we are prepared to share our advice to those who choose to listen. Download Buy, Hold, Sell today on the Evergreen Podcast Network or your favorite podcast channel. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We We out. out.